Look, Magnus is damage check, and today we got uh, Gunslinger, Gunslinger, Commando, 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 Suicidal Ashwood Asylum. We are not going for the minigun today. I think the minigun is a very fun weapon. I also think the M16 M203 is a very fun weapon. Okay, I think, I think they're about equal. The M16 might even kind of uh, exceed the funness that I get from the minigun because it's explosive. And unloading a ton of lead is not quite as fun as unloading a whole bunch of explosions. Now that's bullet time. This last KF2, I've recorded, I, I talked about it in the gunfire episode uh, a, a wee bit, but uh, I recorded in a, a weird order today. So I did, uh, did gunfire, and then now we're doing KF2. I normally do KF2, Yamajack tries gunfire. And um, I'm like all, I'm all messed up now, and it uh, feels weird. Being, uh, being recorded in KF2 and not having to record any gunfire afterwards, because I normally, you know, at this point, the third KF2 episode, you know, I'm like, okay, so once this is done, I have to go and record the uh, the 2 Yamajack the tries and the gunfire reborn or whatever. Except now I just have to record one Yamajack tries after this, and then I'm done for the day. And it's, it's, it's a strange feeling. It makes me feel like I've, uh, I've saved time somewhere. <laughs> it makes me feel like I have somehow... Managed to squeeze some more time out of it, even though I haven't, just because uh, feels like the day's ending sooner. Because KF2 is the start of my day, and I've uh, changed it up, tricked my brain into thinking that uh, things are happening when they aren't. And uh, I tell you, it's it's a, it's a nice feeling. It's a nice feeling. You own the money. You know, yeah. I got to. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be going for the M16 M203. We cannot afford it though. It's true. Blood is we than cannot water. afford it. Angels fight devils with. Fire? I don't know. I saw something. <laughs> if, if that's you, you're watching this, then hello. Welcome to my, uh... Welcome to my pending... <laughs> uh, friend request. Will you ever be added fully? Who knows? Probably. No promises. You'll, you'll probably know whether it's gonna happen or not by now, though. By the time you're watching this. It will probably be knowledge that you have. This thing has a lot of spread, the Kalashnikov. I can't pronounce it. I don't speak Russian. Never spoken a word of Russian in my life, outside of, you know, the the little bit of Russian that, that uh, is, is a meme on the internet. I mean, yeah, other than that, I haven't spoken a word, and I can't say with confidence that I have spoken that. It's any degree with uh, to any, to any uh, level of accuracy. I've only, I've merely said the words. I do not actually know what they mean. I did before. When I when I said it, I knew what they meant then. Okay, I don't I don't say things without knowing what they mean. You ever have uh, you ever have friends or whatever who uh, who speak another language to you, and you're like, hey, say this thing. I'm like, what does it mean? Like, just just say the thing, and you're like, how about you tell me what it means before I say something that's going to embarrass me. You're like, well, I don't want to tell you. I mean, I, do, I, I look at it, and I'm like, you don't want to tell me? That means I won't say it if you if I know what it means. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's, what, that's, what, that's, what, that's what it's saying to me. If, if you're not going to tell me what it means before I say it, then you know dang well that I'm not going to say it if I know what, uh, what it means. And, uh, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trust your decision on that. <laughs> I will trust your decision. Oh, I wanted to, I wanted to Goomba stomp him. You know, if, if you think that I wouldn't want to say it, then uh, I'll, yeah, I don't want to say it. It's kind of my perspective on that whole situation there. You know? You guys ever get people doing that? I have, I have people doing that every now and then. At least I did before I was an adult or whenever I associated with the young people. God forbid. That's fine, man. Yeah, we'll sell the Kalashnikov. Buy some of this stuff, upgrade this thing, and just fill up, man. Oh, yeah. Whenever I interacted with the youngins, they always they always want me to say things, you know. I interact with uh, lots of uh, Filipino people, um, and I believe Mexican people and Spanish people uh, at the jobs that I would work. And uh, oftentimes they'd be like, "Hey, say this thing," and I'm like, "Hey, tell me what it means." And they're like, 
I don't want it. You say it first, and then I'll tell you. I'm like, no, <laughs> it, do it doesn't work that way. You know, same thing. Um, like uh, with food or drink. You know, I'll, I'll, you tell me what it is. If you, know, if you go to a restaurant, my uh, people, people oftentimes be like, yeah, I'm gonna order this for you, and then you're just gonna take it. And I'm like, okay. Tell me what it is. I'm like, no, no, you have to drink it. I'm like, I'm not drinking it. You can tell me what it is. It could be literal poop. The store is selling it. It's safe to eat. I will do it. Okay. Like it, do it doesn't matter what it is. I will, I will, I will consume it if, uh, if, if you want me to. But you have to, you have to tell me what it is first. You know. I won't, I won't do it if you won't tell me what it is. That's my, that's my final, that's my final stance on the matter. I'm down to I'm down to do most things, but not 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 the unknown, you know. I want to know what I'm doing. That's basically what I'm saying. So you do die to a one shot in the face, I believe. If I actually get the shot in the face, is the thing. Yeah, I'm down to try pretty much anything, but I need to know what it is, you know. I don't know. But uh, people don't want to tell you, you know, they want it to be a surprise. And I don't, I don't do surprises. I guess that's kind of the the bottom line. I just, I'm not into surprises. I know a lot of people are into surprises. They like the surprises. They like being surprised and stuff. I, I just, I don't. I'm not, uh, I'm not a fan of it at all. Not one bit. I'm afraid of the unknown. And surprises are exactly that. So, for my money... Keep the surprises away. A I had a, uh, my 16th birthday party was a surprise party. And, uh, honestly, it kind of upset me. <laughs> I think I've, I think I've had this rant before, but, uh, like, ba basically, the, the way I saw the surprise party that, uh, that everybody hosted for me, right? Because there, there was, in my opinion, the way to see it and the way to not see it. And, and the way that I saw it, I feel is the, the right way to have, uh, seen it. Anyway, um, do we want to upgrade this again? Or do we want to... No, we can't upgrade it because that's eight. I was about to upgrade it and that would have been devastating. I'm like, I feel like I don't normally upgrade it twice, but I have the money and I have the, the capacity. Like, what's going on? Uh, anyway, so... Uh, my 16th birthday party was a surprise party. And ba basically what happened, the way, the, way, the way that I saw it, right, was I went my whole... Like, it was for, like, a few days beforehand they were all planning it out, right? Probably even, like, I don't know how long they were planning it, but, like, probably a while, right? It takes a while to, to plan out a surprise party, get everybody's schedules lined up, and, you know, make sure that everybody's doing it right and stuff. And I was, like, you know, my, my dream for the birthday party was, like, you know, a couple of me and my friends that I choose uh, and that I personally want to have at my birthday party as a person who is having the birthday party, who, who, is, who is of the person that is, that is, you know, having the birthday. Uh, my my preference for the for the party would have been a small thing with uh, with a couple of people that I would have liked to have gone gone and seen a movie or go for a uh, go for a trip up to a, a lake or a beach or something you know just a small little thing right so I was I was trying to like put together something to towards that end right you need to die so do you how many bullets do we have infinite. Um, anyway, so, oh, that's why I didn't one-shot, because I don't have, uh, hold up. We need this. Um, so anyway, anyway, uh, so for, like, a few days prior to my birthday, I was trying to plan it out, right? I was trying to have, make plans so that people would, uh, go up to a beach or, or something, have, have, have a, a plan with, with the people that I personally wanted at my birthday party. Um, you know, and uh, all of them, without without exception, because they were all at my going to my my surprise birthday party, right? They were all, without exception, um, busy. They had they had something going on, right? So basically, what happened <laughs> was at, at the expense of me having the birthday party that I, I would have enjoyed, I. Uh, I had to kind of have everybody ignore me for a few days. And then uh, me come home from work one day and want to just kind of relax because, like, I came off work and I didn't really want to do anything. And then, uh, you know, I would have enjoyed it if, if I had plans with people, but nobody was making plans with me, so 
I wanted to just relax, and then I come home and everybody's kind of like there, and they're like, happy birthday! And I'm like, well, I like, didn't want this, and I just spent like three days kind of being annoyed and ignored by everybody, and it kind of just felt bad, and then you guys kind of gave me a thing that I didn't really want in the first place, and I feel like... The only people who went here are you guys. And that's kind of where it goes for, for surprise birthday parties for me. I feel like surprise birthday parties are never made for the person who's having the birthday. You know, if I'm having a birthday, I feel like the surprise birthday party is not made for me. It's made for the people who are going to my surprise birthday party. They want to have fun and they want to surprise me. Um, maybe maybe I'm just a, a weirdo. Maybe I'm just the one who's, you know, kind of up my own butt about it. But, uh, like, that was just, it was, it was one of my worst birthday parties, honestly. It might have been my 15th, either 15th or 16th, I can't remember. Um, but it was, like, one of my worst birthdays. Just, just because, like, I don't know, it just, it just feels bad, you know? Because you spend, like, a week trying to, to make plans for your birthday, and everybody's just constantly ignoring you. Nobody wants to do anything with you, you know? And I know, I know that, like, they wanted to. Right, like, they wanted to personally, but they were, like... They were planning the birthday. They had to. They had to put on the airs that they were ignoring me, right? But like, I don't know that. All I know is that I'm being annoyed and ignored for like three days, you know. So it's not like. Uh, where are you coming from, bud? So it's not like. Uh, what the heck was that, dude? So it's not like you know. From from their perspective, they they were still being nice to me and stuff, but from my perspective, I was just being ignored and, and forgotten about, you know? And that felt really, really bad. And, um, then, then, you know, the reason that I was being ignored ended up being because they were planning something that I didn't even want in the first place. And I'm just like, at the, at the end of it all, for, I was, I was just sitting there and I'm like, why did they do this? <laughs> like, what, what is the purpose here? You know? I don't, I don't, I, maybe, maybe you guys would enjoy that kind of thing. You know, you'd enjoy coming home to a surprise party and, and feeling like you finally understand why everybody's ignoring you and stuff. But, like, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't I didn't get that uh, that surge of emotion, you know? I really I really just had the uh, the initial kind of, like, yeah, I was ignored for three days because they were planning something I didn't want. I'm just, I, I just, it, uh, it, it just, it sucked. And I, uh, yeah. No, birth surprise birthday parties. I'll never, I'll never take part in one personally. I'll never take part in it. I, uh, I, I, it was, it was like a terrible experience from, from my perspective personally. I think it was just like the worst possible birthday somebody could have planned for me. Honestly, like it, it sucked. <laughs> it was terrible. It was a terrible experience to have like, uh, cause you know, back, back in the day, I was like 15 or 16 or whatever when, uh, when this birthday was happening and, uh, you know, I was bullied, and I was always the odd one out. You know, like I, I was the person who, who was typically left uh, on the wayside when people were making plans and stuff like that. You know, like that was normal for me. And then uh, for that to be happening at my birthday, I was just like, oh well, I guess that you know, my birthday is just not important to these people then. And uh, for 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 people to to just willingly do that to to a kid who's like bullied and stuff I, ju I just I feel like even if it was a birthday I would have liked I, I feel like just the 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 pain from being ignored for like a week would it, it, it I don't I don't think it could have possibly made it uh, feel good I just I don't like even if it was something that I would have enjoyed the surprise party I think that uh, I would I would have rather just not been ignored you know like like if your surprise birthday party in involves like Ignoring the birthday person for like a week. I guess, I guess if your surprise birthday party doesn't involve that Then that's fine. You know like I guess I guess I guess that's kind of where it is right is that nobody was spending time with me You know I, I think I had uh, one friend who was who was chilling out with me, but like he was he was always with me That didn't really count. <laughs> he was he, he lived at my house basically like almost literally we, we pretty much were inseparable um, so him him being with me was not uh, that, was, that was you know the norm for me to also be getting ignored by people was kind of like the norm and it just it felt really bad and um, but I guess that's kind of where it goes 
is um you know when i watch movies and stuff where where people are going through a similar thing and they're, they're having a birthday party or surprise birthday party or whatever they always have like one group of the friends who are taking them out and still 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 spending time with the person still having fun with them and still you know making them happy and having a good time whereas whereas when it was my time to to have a surprise birthday party they just were all like yeah we're gonna ignore you for the next week and uh, nobody was nobody was I was I wasn't getting that uh, that attention that you kind of you need to not feel like you're being left out of something you know every everybody was busy everybody and uh, I think that's where I think, I think that's probably where it fell flat for me was uh, they, they didn't have their designated um, you know the the pity the pity person you know to, to just take pity on the, the birthday person to to make sure that they're not bored out of their mind and, and feeling lonely and unwanted undesired unneeded you know make sure they're still feeling good about their birthday and then you get the surprise and they're like oh well thanks you know instead instead of like just everybody ignoring you for a week and then uh, having to um, yeah it just it sucked it did um, I, I, and I think it was I think I think that's what uh, what it really boils down to is they just didn't have that person to you know, I guess I guess that's probably what it is. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'd uh, maybe I would take part in a, in a birthday party, but I would I would make sure that uh, that the birthday person has uh, has somebody <laughs> to still hang out with and and chill with and make plans with and stuff. Because even even though I had uh, the one friend, like I said, he was perpetually with me, and he was even also not making plans. Right, like he he was with me, but like he he had plans to go do something else. You know, and it's just like. You can, you can, you, you make plans, you make them not feel left out, and then you, you still find a way to get them to the, uh, the designated location. And if that means just saying, look, you got a, you got a birthday party, you have to go there, act surprised, then that's what you do. But, like, you don't do it at the expense of, uh, of the birthday person feeling, feeling bad about it, I don't think. I don't really feel bad about it these days, you know, at the, at the end of the day, it was ten years ago. I mean, I, uh, I don't hold grudges for that long. Just kidding, I, def I definitely do. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, I don't know I'm, I'm, not, I'm not like so worked up about it, but uh, just the whole thing was kind of funny to me. Just, uh, you know, you're, you're sacrificing the birthday person to, to give him a birthday party. Just, it felt backwards to me. It felt backwards. It felt like there was something wrong with that. <laughs> but uh, after, after talking it out with myself, I think that what it was was I just, I didn't have the, uh, the pity person. You know, I didn't have the, the designated distraction. Nobody was keeping me, uh, busy. And, uh, yeah, it kind of sucked. <laughs> it, was a, it was a very unfun experience. And, um, you guys ever had surprise parties? How'd yours go? How'd yours go? Did you like them? I hope you did. I hope you had your pity person. <laughs> I think it's a lot of fun to plan out a surprise party for somebody else. I just, I, I really, I genuinely just think that they're not fun. Like, I don't know how many people had a surprise party that, um... Because, like, the whole point of it is that you make them feel bad first, right? Like, that's literally the point. And, uh... I just... Like, like literally, the, the point of, uh, of a surprise party is that you make them feel bad and then give them, like, a... Haha, just kidding, we're not actually jerks. You know? It's like, the whole concept of it just kind of... <laughs> it feels backwards to me. Hey, buddy. Did you see that? The whole concept of it just kind of feels backwards to me, personally. I think that uh, your first priority should, uh, on somebody's birthday, if you're, if you're planning something for them anyway, in my opinion, it, it should be to, to make that person feel good about themselves and then happy. Not bad. <laughs> it, it, if your plan for a birthday party starts out with, yes, we have to make them feel really, really bad. I feel like you should just throw that out. <laughs> I feel like I feel like you should just toss that one in the garbage. You know, probably off to a bad start on that. <laughs> but like that, that's what uh, that's what surprise parties are, right? I think uh, I think that a surprise party can work if uh, if they don't even know that like a party would be happening. You know what I mean? Like if it's if it's for something that uh, or on a day that they wouldn't expect it to happen on or. Or, uh, you know, just, just when, when it doesn't interrupt, or when, when it doesn't, like, 
make them feel bad, I think that's uh, that it can be a good thing. You know, but but like like I said, when 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 your when your birthday party plans start out with how do we make this person feel as bad as possible, you're you're just you're you should think about what you're doing for a moment. <laughs> it does does a week of uh, of feeling bad and lonely really make up? You know, does does the uh, does the wave of surprise and excitement from the the surprise party really make up for the week of loneliness and uh, you know feeling like you're being bullied? And 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 left out of things. In my opinion, it doesn't. Maybe in your opinion, it does. But uh, yeah, birth birthday parties. I just I don't think that they're very good. Surprise birthday parties. Birthday parties in general, I think they're fine. Um, presents? No, I've had I have had my rants about presents before. I think that parties themselves are fine. I haven't. Uh, I don't really get to have uh, birthday parties that I enjoy very often because typically my parents will plan the birthday party and leave me out of the planning. Uh, or at least they'll try and push me towards things that they want to do. <laughs> and I'll just kind of give in and then let them do it because I'm sick and tired of them doing that. <laughs> and I'll just, you know, it's, you know, I'd, I'd like there I have things that I'd like to do on my birthday. And uh, one of the things that I'd like to do is, is not get into an argument about what I want to do for my birthday. So <laughs> that's typically how that goes. Um, but other people's birthday parties I typically enjoy. I've been to uh, I've been to a few in my time. A few birthday parties and I've enjoyed them. They're fun. It's fun to, to get together and have some drinks and chat and stuff and celebrate. It's fun. It's a nice thing to do. You know, the presents are not my cup of tea, but uh, definitely the, the celebration as a whole I, uh, I can get behind. But uh, just not my celebrations, typically. Historically, they've not been very good. Anyway, I don't, uh, I'm not very upset about my birthday party sucking. You know, I've kind of, 25 years of it, and you kind of get used to it, you know. Next year, I'm going to make sure that I have a good birthday party. It's my birthday party. You know, by next year, I'm hoping that uh, I'll be living on my own. I'm hoping that I will be, uh, you know, successful in some respect. I'll have lost weight. I'll, you know, be in a much better place in my life at that point, and I'll be independent. And I'll be planning my own birthday party and, and making sure that I have a good time on it. Doing it the way that I want, rather than the way that other people want, which is... I mean, it's the way that it goes normally for me. I mean, even this last birthday, I was able to, to pick the food that I wanted. <laughs> so we had chicken and waffles. But they wouldn't let me cook it, even though I wanted to. And then they complained about having to cook it the whole time, so I was like... I mean, I would have enjoyed cooking it, and then... <laughs> you, you forced me to not do it. And then you complain, so it's really the worst of both worlds here, but... This is a uh, but next year I'm gonna make it. Uh, I'm gonna make it sure that I enjoy it and I do it exactly what I want, which will probably be nothing. <laughs> It'll probably be mostly nothing, cause I'm not. I don't. I don't really care about my birthday so much. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's 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 you know due to the whole me not really having any birthdays that I've really enjoyed so much. But uh, I'm not really too interested in the whole birthday thing. But I, who knows? Maybe next year, like I said, I'm gonna be a new person by next year. Hopefully, well, not new person, but. Uh, in a much better place. Dude, Hans is sick. This Hans is like amazing. I love this Hans. You think you are somehow better? I can't really shoot his emissive power core because he's covering his hands up over his blood jewel. That was a not a hit. It does a lot of damage when I get the headshots on him, but not a lot of damage if I don't, you know? And the nice thing about these grenades is that uh, he doesn't dodge them. If you shoot him a whole bunch of times, he will dodge. Okay, he dodged that one. What a legend. Smacked! Why can't I... Just stuck on a tree? I guess? Okay. <laughs> sure. Now, on this stage, he does kind of dodge, but I mean, he just runs straight, so who really cares, right? So have you guys had a surprise party? Did you guys enjoy it? Did you guys plan a surprise party for somebody? You jerks. I don't know. Maybe maybe you enjoyed it. Maybe, maybe I'm the, the freak here. I, I'm typically the freak. I'm the, I'm the pessimistic uh, kind of... Uh, you know, the, the, neg the negative... The negative uh, Nancy. It's typically me. <laughs> I, I can accept that. It's okay. Like I said, I'm not really that bothered by it. It's just, uh, it's my, it's my past, it's my history, it's what's, uh, what I've been through, and it's, it's 
it's pretty fine. Oh, you know, gotta find something to talk about. <laughs> Anyways, the last KF2 I have to record. I've already done both my, my Gunfire Reborn, so I just have to go do a Hammer Check Tries. And the September Humble Mundle monthly just dropped, so I got like a whole bunch of new games to pick from, so I'm like hyped about that. That's pretty sick, dude. Anywho, that's gonna do her for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like, subscribe to see more in the future, comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.